I figured out a way to get Radio Blur inside of Premiere Pro. If you guys don't know what Radio Blur is, it is the goaded after effects effect where you can make the surrounding area or edges of your video have this super cool blur effect. It's used on a ton of music videos and we just figured out a way to get it inside of Premiere Pro. Let's hop right into this. So over on this website here that I linked down below, Lenny over here uploaded Radio Blur as a preset for absolutely free. I highly recommend if you guys are going to be using this a lot to leave him a little bit of a tip, but pretty much what you want to do is just enter your price here. It can be five, it could be zero dollars, and you want to go ahead and just hit purchase. I've already purchased it, so we're going to go ahead and use it on the computer and show you guys how it works and the right workflow to make this work. Now, before we hop any more into this video, I got to let you guys know about my brand new plugin, Fast Effects. Fast Effects allows you to add instant transitions into Premiere Pro in just one click. I'm talking hits, shakes, wipes, and a ton more. Everything that will add so much more energy to your project. And the best part, these are all fully customizable and you can save them to use later. There are over hundreds of transitions inside of here that you can use on your music videos and other projects. And I highly recommend you guys go check it out now because you can grab two free additional editing packs down below when you grab Fast Effects. So you don't want to miss out on those two free editing packs. Check it out down below. Support me, support the channel. Let's hop right back into this. Now I have to shout out Gaku Lounge as I learned this from his video. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to him. He's giving away absolute slosh on this channel when it comes to Premiere Pro editing and cinematography. So shout out him and shout out Lenny, but let's hop right into how you guys can use this on your music videos. So once you have the preset downloaded, you want to go ahead and right click on presets here, go into import presets, and you want to find it on your computer, double click on it and hit open. Now, once you have it open on your computer, it'll look just like this, Radio Blur 25 Lenny. Now, if you are using Premiere Pro 2025, make sure you use the 2025 version, but he also has a version for Premiere Pros all under 2025, like all the Premiere Pros before that. So make sure you go ahead and use that. Make sure you're using the right version with the right version of Premiere Pro that you have. Now, the way that this works is you want to go ahead and duplicate your layer. So you want to click on your layer or the music video that you want to use this on. You want to hold option on your keyboard or alt if you're on Windows, click and drag up. Now that we have two clips, we want to take this top one here and we want to unlink it from the audio and we want to right click on it again and go over and hit nest and then hit OK. Now, once it's nested, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the radio blur preset on and you guys can see instantly just like that. We have radio blur on the full video. This is a great example of a scene that looks really, really cool on. And you guys can see the edges aren't perfect, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can fix that. Don't worry about that too much. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and do next is now that we have Radio Blur on this, we wanna right click and nest it again. Go ahead and hit okay. Now, once we're at this point, we wanna go into effect controls. Under opacity here, we wanna click this create ellipse mask and it's gonna make it a circle. Now you wanna click and drag and kind of make it a circle around your subject's face or whatever you wanna highlight the most. And now we're gonna go ahead and invert this. So you guys can see it's kind of just a round crop cutout picture. Um, what you can also do is kind of zoom this in as well so we can make up for those distortions. Um, but yeah, it, it doesn't look amazing right now because it's just a circle around everything else. But to fix that, we're going to go ahead and click on the nested sequence and turn up the mask feather. Now, this is really going to blend everything in as you guys can see here. And you guys can see it just completely elevates the shot and adds like that warpage around it there. And if you guys do want to lessen the amount of blur, what you can do is double click on the nested sequence, go back into where the radio blur is, and you guys can see it's just a transform layer here, but he's like precised it by like making it massive and then squeezing it in. You can see this like ellipse 24. He basically broke Premiere to create this and it'd be almost impossible to create on your own. So basically, if you want to lower the shutter amount, you just want to come here and play with the shutter angle. So you can see it's normal and we can increase the amount just like that. So it was at 360 before. We're going to turn it down to around like 230. And you can see we get a lot cleaner of a look on this one here when we go ahead and do that. It also looks really clean on talking headshots as well. So if you go ahead and unlink this and duplicate this just like we did before, go ahead and nest this part. And then we'll drag and drop the radio blur on it one more time. And then this time, since we know the amount that we kind of want to have it as, um, all we have to do is just play with this rotation here. So we'll just add it like a little bit there, like the full amount, just like that. And then we'll nest it one more time. And then we'll create the opacity here and we'll mask expansion it, which basically just makes it bigger. You can either make it bigger like doing this and then we'll go ahead and invert it here. And then just playing with the mask feather is really going to blend all that in there. And boom, you guys can see my face is normal here, but everything else on the video is like slightly blurred and rotated and it adds a lot of depth and like a kind of a super cool look to talking headshots as well. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to download the preset, it'll be linked down below. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Go support Lenny. Go support Gaku Lounge. They'll be both linked down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.